teenage pregnancy and motherhood, our assumptions, it's out of control. They're irresponsible deviants. Pop culture is making it worse. Don't really match reality. In a lot of ways, that's a good thing. Fact number one, teen pregnancy isn't out of control. In fact, teenage pregnancy is at an historic low in the United States, down 42% since 1990, and even down 10% since just 2012. And the number one attributing factor to that decline was not abstinence, but improved use of contraceptives. So give yourself a round of applause, teens, and keep using condoms. However, the US can't exactly pat itself on the back too much because fact number two, it is the lead nation in the developed world for teen pregnancy. <laughs> and while contraceptive use among teens is improving, there's still a lot of progress to be made because one study found that American girls were likelier to report having used no contraception at either first or their most recent intercourse compared to girls in England, France, and Sweden. Fact number three, believe it or not, one additional factor helping lower the rate of teen births in the United States is none other than the MTV franchise Teen Mom. That's right, a 2014 study from none other than the National Bureau of Economic Research calculated that shows like 16 and pregnant ultimately led to a 5.7% reduction in teen childbearing. And it also led to a 5.7% reduction in the chance of me ever watching MTV again. Now let's bring the room down a notch with fact number four. Life as a teen mom, ain't easy. Studies have consistently found strong links between teenage motherhood and poverty. But what continues to puzzle researchers is which comes first. Being low on the socioeconomic totem pole, or if we are going to get technical about how totem poles work, then it would actually be high on the socioeconomic totem pole, but you get my drift, or becoming a teen mom. Furthermore, a 2005 study which compared teens who had gotten pregnant and miscarried versus teens who had gotten pregnant and had kids determined that the adverse outcomes of early childbearing were short-lived. Regardless, when it comes to parenting resources, being a teen mom puts you a step back in terms of age, life experience, education, earning capacity, and the likelihood of having a second parent in the home to help share those childcare responsibilities. Speaking of resources, that leads us to fact number five that the children of teen moms often have a tough time too. Unfortunately, life is not always like the Gilmore Girls. Although I want to emphasize that research is not destiny, studies have linked being a child of a teen mom with things like lower educational attainment, long-term earning capacity, and developmental delays. All of which ultimately points to a need, particularly in the United States, for better and more comprehensive sex education. Because remember, it's not abstinence driving that teen birth rate down, it's contraception and knowing how to use it. And hey, if there are any teen moms watching, I want to sincerely wish you the very best of luck taking care of yourself and also taking care of your child because obviously it is not easy to do this and it's probably taken a lot of strength to get just this far.